Hey everybody, Steve here, and here's a look at all the stories we're following from the AFR News Desk for July 14th, 2015. Our lead story this week comes from over on Kickstarter, where there are a couple of campaigns that we're following. First, the Pigskin card drafting game has launched, and it's already just $500 short of its goal. Also launching last week was the Roll Saga Baseball game, and that has been off to a good start. They're just about halfway to their goal of $5,000. Links to both of those campaigns will be below the video. Over at Paul Dillon's oneforfive.com blog, he's posted that he's now taking orders for custom scorebooks. About a month ago, I mentioned on the channel that he had released the blank scorebooks but now people have begun ordering the custom ones and he's put up a couple of pictures and they look really fantastic and an interesting one that he's designed is a player wanted to do a career run through of every Tom Seaver start and he's put up a couple of pictures of the different books that he had to create for that. So if you're looking to do a season long replay of your favorite team Make sure you head on over to the One for Five blog to check that out to get a really neat custom scorebook to go along with your project. A couple of different companies have put out gameplay examples of some of their products. Over at FTP Sports, they've released a gameplay example of their Dugout Steps baseball game. This rundown takes you through game one of the 1979 World Series and shows you step by step with pictures exactly how to set up the game, go through the warm ups, and then takes you through a couple innings of play. And over at Pine Tar Baseball, James Formo has released a quick playthrough video of his baseball game. And again, be sure to check out below the video for links to both of those items. And finally, over at Hoops Pro Basketball, they've released update version 1.1 of their PC game. This includes now being able to view player pictures during the game, as well as a couple of other minor fixes. And now let's take a look at new releases. Over at Play.com, they've released the 2014 Pro Season and the 2015 Fictional Football America set for their second season football game. Over at Digging Deep Sports, they've released five new European League sets for both their Digging Deep Worlds game and Glory on the Pitch games. And this includes the English Premier League and those releases. And finally, over at Atba, they're putting out a master set reprint of the 1939 baseball season. And now it's time for the question of the week. So last week on the show, I asked everybody what their thoughts were on the Major League Baseball All-Star Game. The majority of you said that you felt that the game had lost its luster mainly because of how prolific interleague play is now. And it's sort of taken some of the luster and allure away from the game because now we get to see players play against each other from opposite leagues all the time. However, one viewer, Robert Corsair, had a different tune in that he's very excited because he's actually attending the All-Star game. Robert, I hope you have a really fun time and be sure to leave some comments on your experience at the game. This week, I'd like to ask everybody, what's been your favorite experience at the ballpark? As for myself, I just experienced my favorite moment this past weekend. I was able to attend a Red Sox game. They were playing the Yankees, and I got to see the one game in the series that they won, so that made it enjoyable. But I also got to sit on top of the monster, and... What an experience that was being up there. It's such a great view of the park and it's going to make it a little hard to see a game from anywhere else in the park now. If you ever get a chance to do that, it's really a great experience. Um, I got to take a picture with the last three World Series trophies. That was a lot of fun. They had an autograph alley up there. So I got to meet Bill Lee and Tim Wakefield and get their autograph. 
really fun time and best of all I got to go with my big brother to the game and it was a really special event. I'm looking forward to hearing your stories next week of what was your favorite time at a ballpark. And now it's time for channel updates. So over this past week, I got out my scouting report on that pigskin card game that's up on Kickstarter right now. And also I had another segment on the Dice Towers board game breakfast, the AFR two minute drill. Be sure to check out both of those videos if you haven't already. And of course, next week I'll have the news up on Tuesday evening. And next week I'll also announce what the next game I'll be reviewing is. Okay, everybody, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. My name's Steve, and I'll see you next time after further reviews.